a bit of white trim so it doesn't pull away from uh, detract from the painting itself. Uh, but really, really nice. So uh, most of the work you're going to see, the rest of these, will be framed accordingly with that same white frame, but a, a great customizer. And especially, like he's saying, some of these may be hard to frame if you wanted to actually, because some people insist that work has to be framed, whether it's gallery wrapped or not. So, But many times it's going to be hard to do because of the, it's not a standard size. It's close to a standard, but not necessarily a standard. Anything else you want to tell us about relish? Because that really is an uh, attractive piece. Well, maybe about the titles. The, the idea is that the title, like the painting, doesn't necessarily have uh, like an analyzed meaning that's going to come out at you. Uh, if you ask me to explain most of my art, I'll, I'll tell you that uh, what I'm trying to do is to create kind of a representation of something that is an abstract feeling. Uh, something that's, you know, not necessarily something that you can explain or touch or feel, but in order to, like, get it across to someone and communicate it, you have to, uh, you have to let, it, let it happen. And then when it, when it begins to just happen on its own, then your analysis isn't the identity and, and what comes across is the feeling and the colors and the mood and the energy and that is something that you understand and then you put your own vocabulary with it and you give it your own kind of uh, voice and that's that's one of the main principles of what I do in my art so that that's important uh, as far as like the titles and if you're looking for uh, subject matter there are there are representations of, of real things they're they're like feelings though and those real feelings are kind of abstract okay, okay this piece is called astrology astrology all right uh, wow Magnificent, and again, we've got a, a white, a vibrant white compared to the prior white, uh, with the really dark shades, almost similar shades that was on the one on circles that uh, we saw earlier. But this has so many of the dark, contrasting colors that it's almost like almost like a stark black and white photograph, even though of course it's not black and white. And again, uh, you the title on this one, astrology. Astrology. Okay. Yeah, not not so much astronomy as astrology. Something that's more of a, a, a study, an art, than a science. Uh, that's that's the feeling that it looks solid. It looks like something that is going to have a specific definition, but in reality, it's more up to a lot of interpretation. That's sort of what that title contains. And again, the size of these is 25 by what? 25 by 24 inches. Okay. Uh, they're handmade stretchers, uh, hand stretch canvas. Some of these ones that, that are uh, more layered, like this one, is uh, they are, uh, you know, they have a lot of, a lot of paint on them. They, mm -hmm. uh, and, and this one. And that's what gives instance, it the depth, folks. has a really thick canvas, right. you know. But it also gives the depth, that layering mm -hmm. brings it out more and more. So that makes it much more dramatic. And that's what I say, with the stark, dark colors, the tones there, along with the layering, really adds the depth so that it, it jumps off the canvas. It's not, not as flat as some of the others. Now, once again, we're talking to uh, Devin Abrams. And Devin, I know you show uh, at the Ferret Street Festival, which we've said uh, is my neighborhood festival, and it's part of the Road to Recovery, uh, all the 17 neighborhoods, and not all of them are up and running, but so many are starting to do their their monthly festival or some portion thereof. Uh, Ferret is the first of Saturday of every month, uh, and uh, this weekend being the 4th of July coming up, I don't know whether they're doing it this Saturday or not, day, but hopefully they will. So if you haven't had a chance to go out there, please do. One Food is fabulous, uh, great clothes, great gifts, a lot of artisan and wonderful free music. And really, the whole day is free if you don't if you don't want to if you just want to hear the music. But you can't resist yeah. some of the great food, beverage, and of course some of this wonderful work. Is there any place else that you show or are planning on showing it? Currently, not right now, but. Uh Soon I'm going to be into the uh, one of the other art markets. Okay. And uh, are you able to say that or not yet? Uh, not able to say that yet. Okay. Uh, no but uh, but that's pending, and uh, it, sh it should work out. 
Well, all right. Well, that's the important thing. Uh, and you can come to visit my website. Ah, anytime. good. You have a website. I didn't. I didn't ask that. I'm so I've, glad you brought it I up. A, I have a, a what, nice why don't working you tell us what website, website with lots of pictures on it, and uh, it's uh, it's coolneworleansart.com. So that's coolneworleansart.com. It's uh, C O. Why don't you spell it? Because yeah. you know. C O O L N E W O R L E A N S dot com. A R T. O R. Sure, yeah. So it's cool, New so Orleans. It's cool, a lot, C O O L New Orleans Art dot com. Dot com. And you yeah. say you do have some of your paintings on, on and obviously how to get in touch with you and stuff yeah. like that. So you everything know. you might need. Uh, it's uh, you, If you get onto that site, you can see a lot of my work, more more work than is here today. I have a lot of different styles too. Like uh, I do a bunch of multiple paneled pieces, pieces that are like. Uh, they have, uh, you know, maybe four canvases yeah. in a set I think set you brought something. a couple. We're going to see those near the end yeah. of the show. And then there's some other, uh, but I didn't bring any of those today. Uh, and then, uh, but I have some other ones that are similar to them. But uh, y you'll have to go to, to the website and check them out. Okay, so you know, my email is up there. Even if uh, you have to use a little email uh, form on the website, I'll get it. And, uh, and I'll get back to you promptly. So that's coolneworleansart.com. So another way to see him after the show. Uh, and another thing I want to tell you about some of the artists, that's why we're so pleased, along with all of our, our guests, we always try and uh, we consider ourselves as some type of an economic developer because we try and uh, expand it beyond the show. Like uh, we were just talking, a new restaurant that we're going to be having probably in August that will open at the beginning of August in Mid-City. Uh, speaking to the gentleman, he's, con he's kindly consented to actually using several of our artists that have been in the show, their works, for display and, of course, for sale. So this is what we're talking about, that we're able to expand beyond the envelope of the show. Uh, same thing with the musicians. We, uh, uh, For those who saw the last uh, restaurant review, uh, you know, we had Daniels on the Bayou, and I think it was Eric Fausch was here, and sure enough, on, on the spot, the... Uh, the uh, chef uh, invited uh, Eric to uh, play at his restaurant on, on for alternating Fridays. So they, we, we give all of our guests a chance to uh, develop beyond the show. This is just a, a stepping stone from them and helping them out move forward. So that's why it's important for you all to, to continue to give me references and, of course, to pay attention to the show. All right, let's take a look at another piece of Devin's work. And this one, again, going back into the vibrant use, this is kind of a mixture of the greens and the blues and the purples. Let's see, and again, with a lot of geometric design. Uh, it's in that 25, 24, I guess, square. Uh, what can you, well, first of all, what's the title? That's all we need to know. Now. The title of this one is called Rubble. Like Rubble. Uh, things that are yeah, falling down, like uh, broken things. Like um, the Hubble telescope. I was just watching that. It's, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> similar it's rhymes. A lot, of, a lot of titles come from rhymes and, and plays on words for me. Ah, yeah. You know, they start with an idea, and then they, they, I, I go try to turn them into something. That I, that I think has a good ring to it and, a, and has more of a representation of what I'm trying to feel in the painting, too. Uh, this one is a piece that, you know, when I, when I first painted it, I wasn't thrilled with it at all. And, uh, and I said to myself, I think I might have to do something else to it. I might have to paint over it even. I, occasionally I'll paint over a piece that I don't like very much, but I put it up on my wall and I kind of looked at it for a while. And after a while, it sort of just, it struck me. It's like, you know, you get a, you tell, somebody tells you a joke and then like, it takes a long time before you understand it. And then, and then like maybe the next day you laugh. It's one of those kind of pieces where uh, it, it, for, for some people, it's really going to hit you. Uh, not, maybe not for everyone though. Well, uh, like I said, I'm looking on the monitor. Once again, I'm not seeing the vibrancy of color. I'm hoping that it's coming through to the... Uh, it's very uh, blue and yeah. green and say, aquatic. The, unfortunately, what we're seeing is it looks like almost a white background. We 